Hello, hello my friends. Welcome to 2020. I'm just going to turn this fan off because I forgot to turn it off. I've got a little one joining me down here because he woke up before my package came. So we have to deal with that. I look like an absolutely hot mess today because it is hot. Funny that. Um, today I'm going to be opening up for you a you and all haul. That all rhymed. I've got an absolutely crap ton of drive shampoo in my hair because I haven't washed this baby in three days. So I actually purchased this order, what day is it today? Friday, I think Tuesday or Wednesday. So I'm very surprised with how quickly it came in the mail. I've got a bunch of goodies to show you. So this is apparently the Ali Fashion Plus Size brand, but I think that they're trying to like separate away from Ali because I had no idea going onto their website that they were connected. Um, a lot of you guys requested this brand and I had never ever heard of them. Back when they first launched and I looked at their range because you guys asked me to, it was on the Ali website. So I had no idea that this brand and Ali Fashion were connected until the other day. So this is an Ali Fashion plus size range and they've extended to a lot according to their website. If this is Ali Fashion, which I think it is, um, they've extended their range so much from what it originally had, which was like eight pieces or something. Because when I first looked on the website, I was really disappointed, like months ago. Um, and then I hopped on this website and I was like, holy far out, I love this brand. <laughs> and I haven't even tried the clothes yet. So let's just hope that they live up to my expectations. Yeah, are you going to see? Are we going to see what we got? So, in here, let's have a bit of a look. I will leave all the links, oh gosh, just bash you guys around. I'll leave all the links to what I buy down below. These have not been sent to me. I bought them with my own money, but as per usual, I always leave my reviews honest. So, first dress that we have. Oh, also, sizing. Um... It was a little bit hit and miss. I kind of went off the size guide to see what they recommended. Um, but some of the things I got size 18 just to be careful because like you never know whether they're going to be generous sizes or whether they're going to be like like alley fashion normally, which is tight. Um, so I ended up sizing up in some of them and some of them I didn't. So we'll just see. Um, I got this one in a size 18. And to be honest with you, don't remember what I got from you and all, so this is going to be a lovely surprise today. Because um, I've made a couple of uh, haul purchases over the past few days, so you've got some exciting content coming over the next couple of weeks. Alrighty, first up. Ooh, okay. So first up is this gorgeous berry dress. It is nice and long, which I now remember what it looked like on the website. It came down to the knees. Um, so this one has a stretchy back, which looks really nice and, uh, what's the word, discreet. So it looks like it's got a lot of stretch in it. Maybe I made a mistake going the size 18. I don't know. Let's chuck her on. Okay, so first thing to note, sizing is generous with this particular piece. It is also stretchy the whole way around, which, I mean, is good, but I'd probably wear a belt to cover that. Now these little straps came hanging down and you had to like loop it through this tiny little hole, which I mean, I'm not complaining, but I am just here to tell you it is frustrating to get them in the hole. They're very small, but once you get them in, it's cute. Would I say I remember this exact design online? No, I don't remember it. But maybe she had it done different and I've just like butchered it or something. But yeah, I don't know what's going on up here. But all in all, a nice dress. It's not too thick, not too thin. I haven't seen any seams coming loose with threads or anything. It's like a rylon material. Nice and airy for summer. Great length. Like if there's one thing that I'm obsessed with at the moment is a nice long uh, knee length dress because when you're a mum constantly bending over so it's nice to have the room you know it says on the tag it's $45.99 however um, I think I got them at like 50% off or 45% off or something crazy good they might still have that sale on what's the matter what are you doing what are you 
what do you mean? Um, I also love how much room there is on the sleeves. Like, it's just nice. And I feel like I definitely could have gone the 16 in it. But I don't feel drowned in the 18. So, yay. You can hear a noise in the background. It's just my aircon. I've amped it right up because it's bloody hot today. Okay, next up. Oh, I'm a bit nervous. A bit nervous by this one. I don't know about anyone else, but when I'm shopping online, I don't really check the material before I buy it. Oh, God, that looks ugly. So when I was buying stuff, I didn't look at the stuff. Um, so this one looks like it's that kind of shrinkable material. Wonder if it'll say what it is. No. And I bought this in a size 16, so great. Just what I want. It is this gorgeous sage colour and it's kind of um, that like cheesecloth material. So it's this strappy kind of dress um, and it's got a semi V. Oh yeah, it's a decent V actually. I don't remember this dress, how funny is that? Um, and then it's got a stretchy back which is always a plus. Maybe that's why I went to 16 in it, I think I must have. And then it's got these sort of ridges, one, two which is very in right now. Um, it does look a bit see-through though. So it doesn't look like, no, they don't have a slip. You'd think that they'd put a slip underneath at least the bottom half part. And the nipples. Hmm. Okay, so this one says it's originally $39.99 and I think it came to like $25 on sale. Um, might have been a bit less, so at $25 I don't mind. But it has got metal hardware for the straps and they are adjustable, so that's impressive for the price. Um, let's pop her on. Okay, freaking love this dress so much. I hope to gosh that it does not shrink when I next wash it. I love, love, love the colour. Then the straps are nice and durable. They're not those tiny little ones. They have a nice connection so they're not going to snap off. Like I said, so stretchy. This is the kind of like perfect round the house kind of dress, you know? I've got my hair sticking all onto me because it's so sweaty and hot today. Ugh. Please tell me I'm not the only person that feels like chopping their whole entire hair off during the months of summer. I absolutely love the length again, like not too short, not too long really nice and the quality too like I'm impressed apart from the slip I do wish there was a slip underneath because I feel like as soon as you go in the sun it'll kind of shine through so we'll test it out we'll have to have a see I feel like that's only minor though because you could put on some like shapewear underneath or you could just put on some longer undies and that would fix the problem I don't know tell me what you guys think down below in the comments but I would say this is a winner all right hair's got up in a <sighs> Well, I was gonna say fun bun, but a messy bun, very messy bun. All right, next up, we're just randomly pulling things out of the bag. Is this really nice pink skirt from memory? AL90 and bad. To me, this looks like it's been opened before. And might be a um, returned item. I reckon this has been returned. So we'll see if there's something wrong with it. Okay, so it's a skirt. Seems to look nice. It's a maxi. That's really nice. I'm gonna have to wait to try that on with a shirt. So you'll have to forgive me while I just pass on that one for a minute. For your info, I got it in size 16 and it's $29.99, so we'll come back to that one. Oh, perfect! I forgot that I got this. I forgot that I got everything in this order, but I got a t-shirt and it looks really nice quality. So here it's saying it was $17.99, but I'm pretty sure I got this for like $10, maybe even $7, I can't remember. But it says, let's open it up, I got it in a size 16. Okay, first impressions, pretty good for the price. Would I say it's, oh yeah, that is really good quality actually. Okay, first problem I'm noticing, quite short in the bodice. Like, to me, I like having length. 
and then I can tuck it in, do what I want with it. However, this might not be a bad thing for um, my high-waisted shorts, the linen ones that I got from Kmart, and um, just excuse me while I wipe my slit, um, from Kmart, and where was the other ones from? Dotty. Um, so this will go quite well, I think, and the colour really suits me. I thought that the brown might not, but it does. And it says, oh, never mind. Um, it isn't embroidered, which is a shame because I feel like something that small could be, but never mind. <laughs> See what I did there? Um, so let's chuck her on with the skirt. I mean, they're not going to really go together, I don't think, but we can try. Okay, like I suspected, don't go together. <laughs> But really impressed with the quality of the shirt. So I'll pull it out and you can have a look. Very actually long. I think because it was just so wide, it eluded me. Come here. Come on. We're having a baby join. Um, because it was so wide, I thought that it meant it was really short. Not the case. So, colour's really nice. I would say really good quality. Better than um, cotton on. Uh, where else do I get t-shirts from? I can't remember, but quite good. Quite good for the price. The skirt, really like the skirt. Will just say though, if you hold weight like me in your tummy or your hips or your butt, go up a size. Um, this size is actually quite okay. This size is actually quite okay on me, but it's only just okay. Like it might, like I I am feeling a bit bloated at the moment. I've just had my period, so it probably will go down. Aren't babies so much fun? Um, <laughs> I will eventually get through this haul. Yeah, like I said, it's just a little bit... I don't know. I, like I said, I don't know if it's just that I'm a bit extra bloated today, but I feel like the sizing could have been a little bit more generous. Um, the length is really nice. It kind of looks a bit mermaidy because it goes out at the bottom. Would I wear it? Yeah, absolutely. It looks a little bit faded in person, which is a bit of a shame because it's kind of like only going to get more faded with time. But I guess if you're after that pastely kind of faded look, then this is a go-to. Would I buy it again? No. But will I wear it? Yes. All right, moving on. I'm very excited for this next piece. Now we've got you under control. We can keep going. <laughs> yeah. So next piece we have is a green dress. First thing I'm noticing, can you see those buttons? It's not an open button situation, which is a little bit of a shame. For breastfeeding mamas out there, I feel ya. I'm no longer breastfeeding, but when I was, it was really important that I got dresses that I could um, wear breastfeeding, obviously. And because it's so hot in summer, you don't want to be wearing a ton of clothes and t-shirts like this um, to be able to lift up and breastfeed in, so dresses are a must. So if there's one thing that I would suggest to you and all, if you by any chance watch this video, is to make them functional buttons because so many women who are big and busty and plus size, like myself, need options for breastfeeding. So, something we can improve on. Um, size, I got this one in a size 18. He's teething at the moment, which is why he's whingy. Hey, you okay? Are you okay? You just want mama's attention, don't you? Um, yeah, so I got it in a size 18. It was $40 originally. Um, I think this one came in $25 or $29.99, didn't it? Should we try it on? Should we try it on? Will you let me? Will you let me? I might go pop him in his um, walker. I'll be back. Now, like I was saying, the green dress, a bit disappointed with the buttons, but let's see what the quality is like. Don't remember if it's full length as well. Oh, okay. Nicely surprised. Same length as the first. It's got a nice capped sleeve which again has lots of room, so it doesn't matter the size of your arm. Really like this a lot. And you'll be pleased to know, double fight. Who would have thought double lining would have made me so excited? Now this one, like I said, size 18. Yes. Um, let's try her on. Let's see what she is like. Guys, I'm 
obsessed with this dress like can't even tell you I feel like I've paid maybe $90 for it so nice the only thing that I dislike is the fake buttons like it's really just a letdown on the whole dress but sizing wise really nice glad I went for 18 I upsized in this one because this one's actually a um zip up the back I haven't been able to fully do it up but mostly and when I read the size chart, it said, um, like, you'll be able to see, but take your measurements. I definitely recommend taking your measurements. And then whenever you shop online, just refer back to them. And obviously, if you've lost weight re or gained weight, um, reassess it. But really happy with this. Definitely glad I wear the 18, like I said. But around here, there's heaps of room. But I don't mind that because it's kind of, like, flowy. And if you eat a meal, it's, like, got room, you know? You know? Love the colour color is like this beautiful sage emerald green it's coming up a little bit lighter on camera than it is in person but freaking love it i'm gonna go back online and see if they've got other colors because i love it that much wow 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 oh my god we've still got like three pieces i thought we were coming to the end here people but we're not we're not Right, next up, oh yeah, so this is the same material as a dress I got from Orange Sherbet. I've seen a few brands coming out with it since I've bought it from Orange Sherbet. Um, and I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I love this pattern so much. So the dress that I have this in at home, I wear all the time. Like if you haven't seen my Instagram stories, or maybe I haven't been wearing it on Instagram stories very much lately, because I haven't been on there to be honest very much, but I've been wearing the heck out of it and they had a short version so again fake buttons in the middle which I don't love but it's the same I'm assuming same cut same style as this one which I'm stoked about um same ribbing yep it's the same dress stoked let's pop her on so interestingly this dress did not have the zip down the back but it is exactly the same style as the last one so why it's different i don't know this one has a stretchy waistband in the center i would definitely wear a belt in the center with it uh, because it, i feel like it's missing that something to tie it together again buttons aren't real like i said but it's double lined and I um, love it. I love the design. Not sure if I, I mean, it's a really high neck, which I think is perfect if you don't like showing your boobs, but it's like strangely done. I don't, I don't know if it, that's weird. It's double lined. I don't know. I don't know if I'm vibing up here. You can let me know in the comments. Oh, I've got this out. Tell me in the comments if you like this or not. I'm not sure if it's a bit grandma. It's also got a lot of room for boobs. Like, it's a bit pouchy there. Can you see that? Hmm. You can let me know. Is it Grand Murray? Or do we like it? They had a beautiful white linen top. And on the website, I could see that it only had a double lining to the boobs. And it looked really obvious. But I decided to go for it because it was only $14.99 on sale. Um, so let's try her on. I did buy it to go with the maxi skirt now that I remember, um, but that's okay. We can try it on in a minute. Ooh, it's a good size. Oh yeah, I like the thickness of that linen. Like I suspected though, it is only double lined to the boob area. We've got a visitor again. I might just do the last piece before we do that. Um, linen top because I've got to put the skirt back on and that's a whole thing isn't it it's a whole thing <laughs> so the last item we have is this black floral print dress oh okay now this is like next level quality okay really like this so far it's kind of like a wrap dress let me sit you down win but not like the seam is there and then it's got these, um, where is it? A ribbon? Interesting. Let's pop her on and we'll see what it looks like. Oh, it's also got a zip, which, don't know if that's gonna be a good thing or a bad thing, to be honest. Oh my God, this is stunning. Holy shiz. So it's got a bit of a split, but like I said, it's 
done up so it can't undo it's seamed there and it's also got double lining so it's got a black slip underneath oh. I got the size 18 in this and I kind of wish I hadn't I kind of wish I'd gone 16 I thought it was gonna be super tight so I thought yeah I'll get the size up but I'm pleased to say that this is true to size so I would go a 16 it's got beautiful big arms love that it's got crossover which you sh might want to pin I haven't fully been able to do it up at the back so if it was done up at the back fully it might not move but if you've got big busts I mean t I tend to always put a pin here anyway because I've got quite big boobs and they always seem to slip out so impressed with this quality though and the little ribbon at the front is really nice ties it off nicely <laughs> no pun intended um and for the price which i'll leave on the screen because it's on my tag at the moment so i can't see i'm really impressed really really impressed this would be perfect if you have work attire outfits the requirements because it's kind of like low enough it's near the knee it's a lot of coverage over the boob area it's affordable lightweight professional Oh yeah, big, big thumbs up. All right, I'm in two minds about this top. I feel like if you're gonna bother doing a slip underneath the shirt, you need to give it good coverage. Um, it ends right where my nipples are. So what's the point in that, first of all? Um, it's a real shame, to be honest, because I would just rather them have not put any slip like I know they need a slip but if you're only gonna do a little quarter slip don't bother um, the actual idea of it is really nice though like it's a lovely thick linen material really good quality I would never guess I paid $15 for this um, like I said though in two minds about because I don't know what it looks like when someone's looking at me like it doesn't look bad on camera but in person it's really obvious that it ends here and it looks ridiculous so I think I'm just gonna snip that out to be honest right key wrap-ups for this haul love them first of all let's put that out there we love you and all we love you and all <laughs> we really do um great value for money what I would say is you get what you pay for. Um, obviously, it's no $100 frocks, but I've paid more for worse before. Um, so I do think it's really good value for money. If you're scared to spend the money on it because you don't have a lot of money, um, I would try them personally. I would spend my money on them, uh, which I already have, but I would do it again. They will now be one of my new favorite go-to stores when I have an event. Um, so, which is which is a big statement because I find it hard to find places. Orange Sherbet's the only other one that I always shop at. So, or oh, and Kmart, but Kmart's a bit hit and miss with sizes. So this is really true to size, if anything, generously sized. Um, what else? What else? Few improvements. So the fake buttons, not a fan. But again, get what you pay for. Um, I think the most expensive item here full price was like $40. So really good value for money in my opinion. But all up, I think my haul came to $210. So considering the amount of pieces I got, I'm pretty impressed with that. Like I said though, I did buy them in sale. So um, I don't know if they're on sale now. I would say being an Alley brand that they will often have sales. So maybe sign up the mailing list um, if you are looking for a real bargain but I hope you guys enjoyed today's haul if you did please go down and hit the thumbs up subscribe if you are new um, and leave me in the comments your favorite piece from today and if you've tried them because I would love to hear your experience so that other people can also read their experience down below um, and yeah I'll see you guys in next week's haul which is very exciting as well it's coming in the mail this week so excited so I'll see you guys then bye <laughs> Bye!